Alright, in the previous video, we finally managed to get the bullets to fire from here to appear on top of everything. Let's go ahead and make it auto fire. So we're going to copy exactly pretty much what we did for the uh, turret. So let's go ahead and make some timer instead of our mouse button. So let's go ahead and uh, make a timer. And let's be more specific. Instead of saying, um, you know, fire rate, let's name it tack fire rate. Oh, wrong place. My timer name. Tack fire rate. Okay. And time in seconds. Let's say we want to fire every, let's just do two seconds for now. So. Let's see if it's greater than two seconds, five seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and reset the timer here. And it was tack fire rate. Let's go ahead and delete this condition. Save and let's see the preview. Huh, something's not quite working. What went wrong? Oh, whoops, I deleted the wrong one. Here. Now let's try it. Okay. So we see it firing, not really aiming, it's just firing every one second, right? Awesome, so we got it to fire automatically. Now, instead of only, um, I guess creating this bullet at the right point, why don't I create it at all the corners? Okay, so let's go ahead. Now, let's go ahead and add an action right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create bullets at every um, corner. But for now, I'm going to do the four corners, north, up, right, down. I think I need a bottom and left. Let's go ahead and do left, so I'm going to create object, copy, paste, and instead of right, I'm going to do left. And instead of right, I'm going to do left. Alright, let's go ahead and copy it again, and paste, one more time, paste. Uh, I forgot what I said, I think I said top. top and bottom let's call it top top bottom bottom save let's see if it works let's first change this timer so we can more easily see it working 0.2 seconds oh they're all firing to the right uh, it looks cool but not quite what we want because I need to add a force um, depending on which way this is going so this one is going right. So let's go ahead and drag that one. Oh, I have two rights. Let's make that left. Maybe I didn't save it when I did it last time. And I'm going to go ahead and copy. Drag that down here. I want to make it go left. So 180 degrees will make it go left. Let's go ahead and top, I think top, whoops, sorry, turned the wrong one. I think top is 90 degrees if we look at a um, the circle you learn in pre-cal, unit circle, 90, 90, 
and bottom. That would be 270, I believe. All right, let's go ahead and check. Hmm. These don't appear to be moving. Left, left works. Why is this bottom one moving up? It's a little weird. Right, it should be moving right. Should be moving left. Should be moving up. And it should be moving down. So, what exactly went wrong? Huh. To be honest, I'm not too sure. Well, maybe we might... Let's see. So if this is true, I want to do all of this. Maybe I was a little bit too ambitious doing right, left, top, bottom all at once. Let's go ahead and take things step by step. Let's go ahead and delete those. And we only have right and left. Let's try that out for now. Can I get right and left to work? No, I can't. So even though I added to this bullet, this, and this to this, it's not quite working. So we're going to have to fiddle around a little bit more in order to get our bullets to fire the way we want them to. Up, right, down, and left, all at the same time. We'll cover that in the next video. But for this video, I hope you see that, you know, oftentimes the first thing we try, and even the second thing we try, it's not quite right. It might not work. But we keep trying. 